let's make the Love You So Navigator Passport Wallet. Grab your materials and cut them out per the template. Mark the fold and pocket placement lines per the template, then grab your vinyl window and glue it to the wrong side of the wallet body. Use a thin amount of glue, use it sparingly because you do not want it to interfere with your stitching. Center it on the back of the wallet body. Align the vinyl edge with the window opening. Allow the glue to dry and flip it over to the right side. Now it's time to edge stitch all around the vinyl window. I'm using a walking foot right now, but you can use a Teflon or a roller foot to help guide your substrate through. Depending on your machine, you may also need to increase your needle size. Right now I'm using a 100 16 universal needle with um, just regular all-purpose polyester thread. Make sure to always backstitch well and trim your thread. Now we're going to go through and top stitch all of the pocket openings. You want to make sure that you catch the vinyl on this part of the wallet. And now I'm just going to chain stitch and go through one of the slip pockets. And then the second slip pocket. This is all at approximately 1 16th of an inch. And now I'm going to wrap around the other side of the wallet opening. Make sure to backstitch well and trim those threads. We are now going to use the window cutout as the tab closure. You're going to add glue to one half of the tab closure long ways, fold it over, clip in place, and allow it to dry. Once the glue is set, you will mark one side of the tab up by half an inch and then just draw an angled line down to the other opposite corner. Now we're going to sew at one eighth of an inch seam allowance all along the tab and then edge stitch at the top of the tab, which is opposite of the angle. Cut the threads and we'll get ready to trim down the closure tab. I'm using a ruler that is split up by eighths and basically centering the stitch line between these blocks so that I have about a 1 16th seam allowance between the stitching and then the edge of the closure. Carefully cut all the way around um, the three edges because your top is already edge stitched. From the top of the closure tab, mark about half inch in and then mark an X within that box. Make sure you mark the tab placement per the template, but here I am just double checking that everything is nice and centered. Add a little bit of glue just behind the X on your tab closure and put it in place. While the tab is drying, mark where the mail snap is going to be. On the wrong side of the wallet, add a small piece of fusible interfacing. I'm using cork here, but I would highly recommend using interfacing instead. Now you can cut the hole and now install the mail snaps using your preferred method. I'm using a table press here, and if you need further help, you can check out my other YouTube videos. Do not add the female snap at this time. Instead, we will sew the tab onto the wallet body following the box that we had marked uh, going through the X, and you will see that um, while I was trying to do all of this, I missed one side of the box, which is just fine. You just double check it and go back later. Don't forget to cut all of your loose threads and we'll get ready to finish the body. 
I'm holding off on adding the female snap right now in order to check placement. So I'm just going to put the slip pockets in place, fold up the window and then also the car pockets, clip everything just to check placement and make sure that the tab can wrap all the way around. Now I'm gonna fold the tab over and mark placement approximately 5 8 inch from that longest corner. Open the wallet back up and now mark where the card slots are going to be. They're about a half an inch below where the slip pocket is going to be. Now you can open up the entire wallet and now we're going to glue the card slots down to the slip pocket. Make sure everything is centered and in place. Allow the glue to completely dry. Mark the card placement line if you haven't done so already. You can see I'm kind of feeling out to see where the bottom of that slip pocket is and marking my end point. Now I can glue the slip pocket behind the card window in place. Make sure that is all centered and aligned and allow to completely dry. The window can now be folded up and glued into place just below the stitch line from the slip pocket, allowing it to peek through. It's time to make the card holder pockets. So you will just stitch well at the beginning and at the end of this line. Double check your work. And now you can glue the card holder and the slip pocket into place, making sure it covers the male snap. It's aligned on the edges, clip and allow to dry completely. While all of the glue is drying, this is a good time to now add the female snap. I'm just making sure that everything is centered and aligned properly using my punch to create a hole for the female snap. Install per the manufacturer's instructions, and now this is a great time to check placement. Open the wallet back up, and now it's time to edge stitch the wallet together. Make sure that you backstitch well. Use a longer stitch if necessary in order to go over all of the layers. When transitioning from uh, pocket openings, I want to make sure to backstitch well over each of those edges. Make sure you trim up all of those threads and you have a beautiful new wallet. For more bag making resources, check out www.iloveyouso.com.